hello friends welcome back to the channel thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate it those of you that are new here and um, peace please consider subscribing so today we're going to be talking about labia elongation in women you could be wondering what labia is why do they elongate it how do they elongate it like i mean do they use <laughs> herbs do they use um a particular machine to elongate this thing I got you covered. So first off, what is labia elongation? God was really great. He is really great and he'll always be great because he endowed the female private area with very many parts. We have the labia minora, the clit, the labia majora, and the labia minora is the part that gets elongated. So you could be asking when is this done? In the African traditional society, as they prepare you for marriage, they used to tell you about this particular thing when you're actually nine years. Between nine and twelve, because ladies used to get married at twelve or fourteen, which is not the case today. And the, uh, the reason is why they used to tell you about it when you are nine, it's because during that particular age, your labia minera is still soft and it can easily elongate with ease. Um, so you could be asking yourself, why is this particular thing Done. Why do you need to elongate your labia minera? First off, it's part of culture. Those are some of the reasons African mothers will tell you, or African aunties. It's part of culture. Second point, they'll tell you what they told me. It keeps the lady warm. It makes um, female hygiene easier. Like you can easily clean your private area very well when your thing is elongated. But the real point, according to my experience, the real point as to why this particular thing is done, it's for sexual pleasure. They will not tell you that directly, but you will find out. A female who has her, my, her labia minor elongated, she's easily turned on. From testimonies of many of these guys out here, that's what they told me. Like, she's easily turned on and she's sweet. When it comes to bedroom issues, those are the main reasons as to why this is done. So where is it done? From labia minora elongation is done in the bush. That's if you're staying in the village. When we when we were still um, a little bit younger, we used to go to fetch firewood from the forest. And during that time, that's when we used to interact with our girls. It was like a girls' day out, and this is when you would look for herbs that are used to elongate the labia minera. In particular, we used to look for a herb called kaboka amuala. I think many of you have heard about that particular herb. So we used to get it. We make a, um, like, what, what should I call it? We extract that liquid out of it and we use it to elongate our package. Hmm? That's why they call it Okutiavenku uh, in Luganda. Watiavenku. You can be dating somebody and they ask you Watiavenku and you're like, fetching firewood. They mean, did you elongate your labia minora? You guys. So that's uh, where is it done. Then, how is it done? Actually, how is it done? It's very easy. You have your things and um, you just need to pull them, pull them, pull them. So you could be wondering, pull them up to where? Because there are some which will pull and they really look unpleasant. So when I was being initiated into this particular tradition, you see this, I was told this, these are, you get your fingers. Then you identify your longest finger. Of course, it's this middle finger. This finger has segments, three segments. So you count one, two, the second segment you pull your labia minera up to that second segment. Anything beyond that, your thing might look unpleasant. And some guy told me things longer than that, they look disgusting. And I'm like, I mean, it's my body. Anyway, you have to make sure they really look pleasant and they shouldn't sweep the ground. Because you're going to feel uncomfortable too when they are really, really long. So, that's all for today. And uh, maybe an addition. When you don't do this particular thing, 
that's in the African traditional society. They used to take it to a junction. This is a myth. They used to take it to a junction, then they get a cork and they make the cork to pop, to pop, pop your thing, your private area, so that it elongates your thing. So girls used to really be scared. Uh, and they used to do this thing, like with a lot of vigor, even without being told. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We we'll meet in the next video. Bye.